wrestle Glenn. I got knocked out of the map. Yells me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More pro that Maddox also a pro player. He is. I played him before multiple times in one box. I should really start playing the love and productive. That's beautiful. But see, sometimes it just takes someone like having the bear to let you know. That was fun. I got my one kill. I got my one starting at zero to zero yeah, dude, kill. It's like it's like it's like, a, it's like a Dark Souls fight. So you got to go take out Glad now. Oh god, you need to go take out Glad. Where's Glad? Where is it? I'll handle him. Okay. I actually won mine. Wait, you beat after Yeah. Yeah, I did. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I think he was. Yep. Yeah. Let's say this. It's almost. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's just a lot harder to go pro in Quake Champions too. No, I mean, I'm not saying it's not better. I'm not saying that it's not a much better game than it used to be. I was playing a uh, Quake Champions tournament, like literally three days ago. Yeah, but still, I'd rather not play with champions, and I like these maps. And oh, this guy's gonna shoot me. You want you to get some free damage? Okay. Ah. I didn't want to shoot you because he was like coming in to interfere, so I stopped and then. I didn't uh, know he was uh, coming. I know, and then he hit you. It was like the second you killed me, too. It was like we would have traded, probably. <laughs> that dude just won the round for us and DC'd. <laughs> Oh, I want to watch for this. This is. I didn't even get you low, did I? Mm, you did, but didn't at the same time. Does that makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Like you got me low at the last second. Like mm. that's right. Hit like ninety percent at the last second. Well, that's why I committed to like the strafe I was on. I don't commit the strafes. What are you talking about? How far duels in Quake? <laughs> like, like, wait, it ends with us walking into a corner, not doing anything. That was so like, funny. Right I went in there after Ved Medic beat Effortless and tried to fight him without realizing he was on my team. I start mirroring you at the end of Quake duels because you walk in a straight line. And it really confuses me sometimes, like what you were doing earlier. Yeah, I, I feel like my dog's got me. 
better than it was. That's my biggest. I would. I would. I don't know if I would play mid and beat your dogs. I don't think my dog is that good. It Got improved a lot. Like I'm telling you. Bed right? medic, from what I've heard, might be younger than. Uh, I don't know how old he is, but he might be the youngest person in here right now. Okay. All right. I don't. I know Ved Medic's like the, from where I've at least heard, the youngest pro. Like he might be seventeen or eighteen. There's other really good young players too. There's this kid named Frost. Um, he's not a Shafterian player, he's a dueler. And he's like a kid and he's really good. Same thing with Zero. I lit you up, huh, Vod? I just thought about it. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you. Yeah. That, was, that was screaming, for sure. Alright, who wants to fight me in the 4x4 room? Who's next in the 4x4 room? I'm just gonna go in here and die. Dude, I so. It looks like Bed is one of those guys who keeps his distance while shafting, and I can't deal with that. Like, I can't do that mid-range shaft fight. <laughs> it's like in Thunderstruck when people stand across the way. I'm like, well, that's a loss. Oh, what you doing that, Marina? I have no Against, idea, dude. Uh, effortless? And he well, lost Effortless, I think? Yeah, the uh -huh. Marina is completely Is, is that the hitbox, dude? Oh, yeah. Whoa. I'm like, I'm like aiming at your head. I'm like aiming at Wait, let me yeah, see. Oh, are you streaming it? Let me see. Let me. I need... Yeah, so check it out just so I can show you where I'm gonna aim. It's crazy. And why I wanna aim there. Hey, All Cozy, right. stop shooting me, dude. Okay, hey. So I'm gonna show you on VOD cards because he's my teammate. Um, what? But basically, the idea is 
Is it is if vodka is strafing to his right or my left on the screen? The idea would be is if he is so just stay still for a sec, vodka, so I can show the hitbox. Sure. So if he's gonna strafe towards the direction of his right arm, which is holding the gun. So he, he'd be going this direction, like that direction, okay? I think that what I was really getting locked into is trying to hit center body. Um, but then what center body does is look at how- The legs leave close. the box. Well, part of that, and but also look at how far my cursor is away from the edges of this, right? Like, the edge of your hitbox is about, like, you know, a centimeter or whatever, either direction on my screen. Mm -hmm. If I actually go to the back side of your model and I can lock on to your speed on the back side of the model, if you try to change paths on me, your entire hitbox has to cross my cursor and come back across this hitbox. So really all I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to match your speed and get my cursor in the middle of you. I'm trying to match your speed and get my cursor on the le on the back half of you, on the back half of this um, cylinder so that when you do change directions you have no choice but to cross all the way across my cursor and it gives me more time to respond to get on the back half of your other side than right. it would if i tried to follow your center mass the entire time and i'm getting just like way crazier accuracy doing that than i was before by trying to get on your back side and then follow the back side on the strafe is this typically okay, for LG? I'm about to rock your world, dude. Um, do you know that this game has time scale commands? What does that mean? It means I can make it twice as fast, half as fast. It goes up to 10,000 times as fast for any physics calculation, which means I can do it to and put it like quarter speed, and you can literally show what you're talking about in slow motion. Yeah, maybe we could try that. Um and then it'd be easier to trace you but basically yep. if you here move to your like just straight from this corner stay up on the ledge and just go across to the other corner and i'm going to try and follow your back half to show you where i'm aiming one sec sorry i want to pull up this command before i forget if you don't mind yeah go for it I see myself on TV. That's cool. Just a Come second. Out. Just a second. Wow, that didn't hit you at all. We're, we're teammates. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, look at how I'm scooting you, but I'm scooting you right. in the back half. Right. So this is like if you can shoot right here. Now think about how if you had to strafe across this, you're gonna strafe all the way across my cursor. And I don't have to re react as fast if I have my cursor in the middle of you or on the left side of you. If I have my yeah, cursor uh, on the left no, side of yeah. you and you, uh -huh. and you strafe that way, I lose you immediately. There's something so If I can match your speed and I can gain, if I can get you and stay on this back half of you, when you try and cross over, you're not going to actually get away from me by, by strafing the other direction. I agree. Yeah, because there, so, there, there, I think there, some people are gonna be able to put this to practice better than I can, just because I'm just getting back into the aiming game after a long time. But I think if you can like think about that, and you're like, really, what I if I can walk onto their speed on the back half of their cylinder, like I just noticed my accuracy go through the roof when I actually execute it. It reminds me of yeah. a pattern theory I heard from the person that actually made the glee pad, Meowgly that was if you start figuring out 
where people are more likely to dodge and you just stay on that side of so them. One thing and click timing for high TTK games, by the way, this uh, one fourth speed. So you can test everything you want to see here to confirm. It's very easy. Um, yeah, um, you should see the plasma <laughs> rifle um, in like 10 times speed. It's like hit scan. It's insane. Wow, this is actually kind of cool. Because <laughs> yeah. he got uh, right under him. Okay, so here, I'm going to shoot Cozy. And I'm gonna try and stay on the back half of them. Sure. But I should I shouldn't miss him at this speed, right? I mean I'm not gonna oh, look at me, Cozy. <laughs> Wait, well, I have an idea. So I'm staying on the back side of him, so try a straight back on me now, right? And now I just stay yeah. on this back half of him. So and then right here on this back half of them. Obviously we're doing it at quarter speed. But I have that much more area to make up for than if I try to stay center mass. So there's something in um, click timing for high TTK games, and the idea is that since you're clicking, you always want to be right behind the target, because what that means is, since you're not doing a continuous stream of damage, like you're saying, kind of, although this is continuous, but it still applies, um, that essentially you want to be right behind the target, because that way you can flip right onto it when it's time to shoot, but if they switch directions, you know, and you shoot, you're still on target because you're yeah, trailing you them. Yep. Can you show it again, Cassette? I want to make this like a diabolical district video or something. Sorry, you want me to join your team? Whoa, 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 hold on. My partner and I. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you want me to join spectator? No, no, I'm spectating. I want you to do the same thing again. The oh, same the explanation. Same yeah. So I'm kind of spectating you. So I'm like staying on the back half of Cozy Cal here. And then when he goes back this way, I'm staying on this back half of him. And then when he strafes back, I have all this time to react to that, like, you know? All right, the spectator is really broken. I'm just gonna go back to seeing your stream because yeah, that was really interesting. Yeah, so I've been thinking about this for a few days and I just haven't been able to execute it because I feel like it's, I've been putting a, a lot of new concepts together in a short period of time. Now you when I finally did execute it today, I was like finishing duels with people that are pretty decent, like close to 200, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing, the only downside, right? It takes a lot of discipline because it's easier, and this just depends on how good you're, I mean, this is more for like a Kovacs thing, less for this, but in theory, right? The more you are behind someone, if they just, if you aren't matching at their speed, then you're getting the opposite because you aren't gonna be getting targets, right? Absolutely, so this, this, really really relies on you like and maybe it's easier to like hit center mass and then let it drag for a second and see mm -hmm. on the back side of them but um yeah i i mean it it's kind of one of those things that i wouldn't recommend i i feel like it took me three or four days of even trying till i even started doing it 50 percent of the time you know what i mean yeah and that's why i'm i'm I was showing it to Vodka because I feel like he'll be able to execute it better than I can, you know? Because he's yeah. already really good with the shaft. I do use my shaft well. Winky so, face. Anyways, that was all of it. I mean, it's not too much to think about other than if you can match speed and get on the back half of them, there's some upside to it. Yeah. I think that's a reaction time thing, though, because, like, I don't have any issues. Except my game invite, and I'm going to show you guys, uh, you don't have issues saying center mass cozy even at full speed. His reaction yeah, even is like 110 milliseconds. It's like well, it's um, 23. 110 milliseconds. So 100, 110, 110 milliseconds is like pro level, like like yeah, hyper. Yeah, that's like Wonder Kid. Yeah, that's how like do you get the genetic test that? Humanbenchmark.com. The best way I test it right now. Exe, which is the one that actually moves on your screen. You have to follow it. And it like, tracks your reactions to the actual target. Um, ah. Yeah, that's, that's the sum of it. I don't know. Maybe Co Cozy could even put some of that. To the, maybe he could put some of it to use. And this is a private like, match. Like, couldn't you just change the? Couldn't you just change the map type? Of course. Well, I, 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 I look. Nah, I'm, 
I'm trying to see you guys invite to the lobby. So I have something that's a work in progress that you, you guys will probably be interested in. I just react. I don't. I, I didn't even know that boxes like this existed, to be honest. Well, yeah, that's what you're about to see. Yeah, this is game changing stuff, man. I, oh, I got disconnected. Don't yeah. ever oh. shoot at arms, ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. From there. I look at Vodkart's face and I just shoot at him. <laughs> yeah. Like that big shaft in the middle of Vodkart's, I'm aiming at it. Wait, duck. Vodkart's duck for a second. Someone duck. Oh, the duck. Yeah, duck now works. Look. All right, so. You. Yeah, yeah, they fixed it. What about a duck jump? You can't duck jump, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I think you guys have bites. You should join this if you want to see something that's uh. <sighs> Mm. Enjoy party. You know what would be, you know what would be really helpful. I just thought about this for the next shaft arena. Um, the next shaft arena we should. Uh, 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 there we go. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. All right, I'm gonna just slide you over here. There we go. We should do shaft or er, practice. We should turn light hitboxes on. Well, what do you think this is? <laughs> okay, hold on. I don't see no hitboxes. Hold on, it didn't save it. If there's hitboxes, I'm gonna hit like 100%. I'm gonna treat you like a Kovacs target. Oh, don't you worry, this is Kovacs. That's what I've made this to be. This I'm is gonna Kovacs. treat you like a Kovacs target. <laughs> It's done! I don't my screen. I don't even know who's my teammate. Yeah, who's your teammate? Are there teammates? Yeah. I guess there is. Which ones are the teammates? Yeah, I can't yeah, tell. Different colored names for teammates versus enemies, you should be able to tell. I don't even see names though. You got, I think you got rib names. I just see a bunch of very blue one or the yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, do you have different colors for your enemies? <laughs> Alright, my enemies are yellow, so you're an enemy. Yeah. I would say to, um... This also makes the shaft model tiny if you look at how, like, it's in the center and it's almost invisible. This is the closest you can get to hit hidden gun model. Yeah. I need to change enemy colors or something, what the hell? I can't see anybody. What'd you say I need to change? Oh! I get what makes it so... Yeah. Well, it doesn't change the color of the orange thing, but also, as your teammates get less and less health, they change colors. That's how you're figuring it out? No, no, I'm saying, like, my enemies are yellow, but once my teammates get to a certain color, they're also yellow. Okay, maybe we need to do the bot with the, the hitbox. I think it works better with the bot. This is really cool. Um, this is multiplayer Kovacs, though. Like you look, you have like double beam or something. Mm. No, what's really crazy is uh, how glitchy those bots look, but those cylinders stay really smooth. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's why the character mod on this game is not. Well, they're getting up on me. You just got cylinders. The, the, the Kovacs bot the ganging up on me. <laughs> Dude, close fast strength is rebelling. I'm just standing still aiming. Can you add the like aim bot feature to the bots? Are you playing a dodge scenario? And it's not rockets. But this is what needs to be sold to Kovax players, is what you're saying? No, not at all. I don't know any actually I don't know enough about Kovax players. I just play on my own. I don't know what the community wants. I would say that um even just showing the hate box with the it'd probably be more valuable showing it like it was before with the model and the hitbox because oh, oh yeah because then you can kind of learn how they react like maybe even doing like dual practice while showing the hitboxes because it lets you know where yeah when they add like any sort of weapon customization i'm gonna look into it if there was floppy shaft, I wouldn't be touchable. Hmm. What is that? 
with a shaft, curves with your aim. CG, go oh. to light. <laughs> it also curves your enemy shaft, so it makes it easier to dodge. Basically, so... To the server, your shaft is not like a continuous beam from your perspective, because if you, have, if you think about it like packets, right? It sends out the first bit of information, and then as you step to one side, those are like... They're not projectile, but it... it the server interprets the information itself, like the packets being sent as projectile, so to speak, and the, like, in the sense that it has to be delivered at a later time. This is like, but if you can imagine that you're stepping to the side, the original position, like the end of your beam, is in a different area than like the part at the end of your gun. So as you continue to strafe, it's really making like a like a curve, right? Like an exponential graph. And so essentially in these games, what they do is they have it where it always looks straight from your position, but that's not how the server is interpreting it. And you can just basically get it to show you what the server is seeing, and it like starts to wobble and warp, and it looks really weird and throws you off, but it's more conducive to what your opponent is doing. So like, in this, if you try and outrun what the opponent's beam is doing, it's not super accurate because it's a visual effect to make it look like a laser. However, if you have, like, you know, 0.3 is your setting for CG underscore true lightning when you play live, I think that's what it is, it might be CL. Um, but basically what it does is it allows the beam to be wobbly, um, and so you can, like, outrun the opponent's beam because you can actually see where it's going to be. It's not just an effect to make it look like a straight laser. Yeah! You should put the settings that this mod's set up with, because I think there's some cool stuff we could do. I want to low-key make a video about, like, kind of recapping through. I want to turn this into several videos this stream. Well, I, I don't know if you saw my post, but I made a... I'm making a mod tool that allows anyone to do this, and it automatically formats it and everything, so anyone can nice. do this. Yeah, it's just gonna... I don't know when it's gonna be done, because I... I don't know anything about, like, I I'm, like, doing this in my free time out of fun. Yeah. And I'm about to start a grad school my, like, last semester, so. Yes. Not to be that guy, but, like, I, I kind of have other stuff. That's, That's how everyone's good. lives are. Don't worry. Yeah. Especially on a genre like this. But, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, it's getting there. I think we lost Cozy. I'm here. I'm just restarting my game because the aim for dodge out of me. But I think having um, like shaft arena at night. But <laughs> you have a mint card. I do. You mm. are, but yeah, I'm fucking memeing duck right now. Yeah. Yeah, shaft arena night. I mean, that's fun. I, I think I'm like done with shaft. But yeah. Yeah. For the night. I mean, other game modes or anything. Sure, I'm down. For well, I thought you guys wanted me to watch that game, right? Yeah. The aimer dies. Aimer dodge show match. Is that gonna happen or not? Nah? Wait, he wants. I don't know. Epic Games. Wait, he wants to train with us. Hold up. Why is my Epic Games in Russian? Wait. Also, okay, wait. Oh, is. Hold on. I don't know how to read Russian. Suka, Suka Bliat is the only thing you need to know. Okay, wait, Smike, do you have a different name for Epic? I don't think so. Could be wrong though. Alright, I'm gonna reboot my game. Did they do something to the netcode in the last two days, guys? Hmm? Uh, why do you ask, sir? This is a personal question. I don't know. It just feels different. <laughs> like, Locker. I think he added me potentially. I'm gonna check. Someone sent me a thing, uh, and I accepted it, but I just realized that I didn't take him to who it was. Let me go ahead and make my egg look Alert, Ricky Ben 100. No, that's not me. But, um. I know you could add people in Epic. Nah, I add, um. Oh. But no, what I was thinking is, um, what if we did Shaft Night but let people see the hitbox? I mean, yeah, I can do that. That would be fun. That way it could help people learn how improperly. I think this would be fun just one-on-one, -on -one, the hitboxes, then you don't have all the confusion of these. Yeah, I didn't even know the hitbox went that low. 
and that it was cylindrical downwards. The hitbox is in the ground, right? So the like, ground. yes, it's negative 0.25 units into the ground, which is part of the reason why um, Shaft has poor ground knockback, because if you think about it, you're shooting the top half of the character model. So you're almost shooting it into the ground, and as I'm sure you know, it's much stronger from below. That's why you can catch people, or if someone's on stairs, you can push them back because you have that upward force. So it's like double screws the Shaft knockback, even though it's already oh. based is lower. Yeah, I saw that lag. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> Is that Chicago or something? That's crazy. I don't even know where the yeah, server is. Chicago has freezes. Chicago. I've heard all the servers have freezes to be fair, but yeah. Don't hate on Chicago. Nah, I'm not hating on Chicago. I'm, I'm just messing with you. Chicago's <laughs> diabolical servers. They suck. Alright, let's crank this mouse acceleration out. When I actually start pulling off that thing I'm talking about, man, I'm doing some damage. Oh, there you go, Andrew. Yeah, I was cylinders trying to do that thing. Cool. I like the cylinders. But yeah, it'd be easier to teach these concepts and stuff on aiming if you could just show the hitboxes for the fights. Very nice. Tell Doug to like it, it's up. There is a public shaft lobby in Ashburn called uh, Doug's friend join. So you did enough damage to him that both you guys are yellow right now. Andy, or Andrew, I'm sorry. Sure. 